If you are not using the theme manager to speed up your workflow, then this video is a must. In the next five minutes in this Wix Editor X tutorial, I'm going to cover what color themes are, how to customize them, and show you a demo of how they function within the editor. All this now. You can find the color themes in the upper left navigation bar under your theme manager, which is represented by an icon with the letter A and a paint drip. The color themes include your background and text colors, action colors, which are for your links and buttons, and more colors, or what I like to call secondary colors for your site's content. You can see that there are five swatches per bar and a pencil icon before each bar. You can update the entire swatch color by selecting the pencil icon for that bar and changing the color. The color that you ultimately select will be located at the center of the bar or the third swatch from the left or right. You also have the option to change out individual colors on the swatch bar themselves. The first background and text bar is unique and different from the other bars. For the background and text colors, the first swatch, white, is the default background color, and the last swatch, dark gray, is the default text color. The second bar, your action colors, is intended for your links and buttons. The last three bars are your more colors, or what I like to call secondary colors. These can be used for alternate text, backgrounds, and shapes. Real quick, if you have a question or are stuck, please leave a comment below and I'll be sure to respond. Also, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Let's go ahead and see how these function within the editor and then check out a practical use case for our color themes. You may have noticed earlier in this video that as we change out the colors within the themes, they also update in the editor. This is because I've applied my theme colors to these individual containers from the theme color section within the color picker. Now let's take a look at this practical example here. You can see that I'm using my background and text colors, as well as one of my more color swatches and action colors for my button. I wanna make some color changes to this section, so I'm gonna go ahead and do so now. First, I'm gonna go ahead and select my background, then go to my color themes and change the background color from white to black. I'll apply that, and then next I'll go to my text color and change it from black all the way to white. Click apply, and now I have this dark mode. And then I'm gonna to go to this color right here for the shape and edit the color to make it this contrasty blue slash purple. And then here I'm going to change out one of my more colors, which I have for a caption and bring it to a gray. Let's see, that looks good right there. And then finally, I'm going to go to my action colors for my button and change it from this color to white. All right, apply that and perfect. Let me review and it looks like I now have this night mode or dark mode applied to this page just by changing out my color themes. And there you have it, another way you can speed up your workflow and add custom color themes to your next project. The theme manager is a powerful feature and also allows you to customize your typography themes. To learn how this feature works in the editor, check out this video where we do just that. To see other Wix tutorials, please be sure to leave a comment below letting me know. If not, let me know what you'd like to see next. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos around this topic or other web design tools, concepts, and strategies, then please subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified as soon as they are released. My name is Rich and thank you so much for spending your time with me today. I look forward to seeing you next time.